Good evening, good evening, good evening all. Welcome to another episode of COVID Cast JA. We are in the month of December. Today is December 3rd. It's almost Christmas. We're at the Christmas countdown. It seems like we spent most of this year battling COVID. And we have been with you for 34 episodes. Today is episode 35. We've been here since March of this year. And we are all about serving our SMEs, providing educational material, expert advice, and lots of resources for you to use. So if you have not yet signed up to receive our weekly memo, please email us at sme at psoj.org. And if you're joining us for the first time this week and you're wondering where am I going to find all the 34 episodes, please visit us at smallbusinessportal.com. There you will also find lots of business tips as we help you navigate the vagaries of COVID. Hi, Craig Powell, Nevada Powell, how you do? I'm joined I'm by Nevada Powell, who is our lead architect, the PSOJ AFFP project. We are here every Thursday at 7.30 p.m. So you can also go back right here to our Facebook page or on YouTube and you'll be able to see. We have platforms for everything. But today we're going to be talking about selling online because it just got easier. Nevada, didn't we do an e-commerce episode yes. episodes months ago? So sometime, I think it was early summer, we did a whole thing on e-commerce. We had Stacey Hines on, we had uh, Macintosh on, and we had Craig actually Paul from Intelligent, we talked about all the various things. One of the main feedbacks um, that we got afterwards as we were in the market and hearing the thing, people were just frustrated. Yeah. The places that they were getting websites from, the website didn't look that great. They weren't able to set up, an, it took forever to set up a payment um, platform. It wasn't clear when they even, and when, when they got paid from abroad, um, that the, the it would be when it would arrive when they get the money so there was all this um just morass of things that we found that a lot of people who even though we were advising quite aggressively because of covid get your business online get your products online get your service online we're just not able to do it and after a while because that's how we are sometimes you know a lot of people gave up and there probably there wasn't enough what i'd call hand holding support in the ecosystem to sort of have somebody on the phone and walk them through um, everything that needed to be done. So many SMEs trying on their own, trying to do a thing. People, but I send you the link. You can just use the link, and that wasn't um, creating the situation. So when we heard about this platform, especially since it um, this okay, this platform, let's talk about like what what is this platform. Yes. So this is the, um, well, you know, Greg will talk about it more, but it's the NCV platform with uh, Figaro. And um, suddenly many, many of the problems that uh, SMEs were facing are now much easier to handle. It's easy to set up. It's, um, you can access sales. So somebody can pay you any from anywhere in the world as long as they have a credit card. This is massive. Suddenly you have a market opportunity to um, mm -hmm. much broader than the one that you had here. Third, and also critical, is that when you finally, when they pay you, you are within 24 to 48 hours of actually getting the money. Why 24 to 48? If you do it in the morning, you'll get it the next day. If you do it after 4, 4.30, you'll get it in two days. But compared to what was before, where people would pay pal the weeks to this to that, this is... um. This is game changing. Yeah, I think it is game changing because I was just going to say that it is very important for us to understand that when we would have had the conversation in early summer, one of yeah. the clear issues was how was I going, how am I going to receive payment? And we got a lot of comments about the payment platforms. So this kind of, of this, 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 what NCB has launched is, is truly creating um, an entire ecosystem now where um, small businesses are able to truly get online. Because the big thing, you go online, you have a nice website, but you can't get no payment. Yeah. And um, today we are joined by Gregory. Wait, one, quick question, one quick question. You see the number of people excited. Adrian Morgan said, my first time. Um, Kenny Fairman said, Medea. Justine excited for tonight. 
Uh, Cheryl Gabriel said, yes, my show. Hope to learn a lot. So people have been, you know, waiting for this. Nikki Scott, good evening. Jennifer yeah. Brooks, hope I can find the way. So there's a lot yeah, of frustration. We'll find the way. Yes. <laughs> We're yeah. find the way today. Uh, so yes, Rashid. I'm actually going on to say too, and I see Alicia too. I don't like when, like, you know, when you go to something and they call five of the name and they don't call the other two. Hi, Jana. Hi, Alicia. Um, yes. Jana, you will see it. You will believe it. And um, Jana says she's super excited. Jana, Jana is with us almost every week. Alicia, you will see it and you will believe it. Because today, how we have segmented our show, because we just want you to sit down now, go take up a pen and paper, because right. we, and, and send in your questions. Hi, Nadine Matthews, we see you. So we are actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a conversation with Greg Repair from NCB, and he's gonna set the foundation for us for what this platform is like. Then we're actually, for Alicia to see it and believe it, we're going to have a demo of the website. And then for those people who are wondering, mm, I see a demo and I hear what NCB have to say, who actually use it? We actually right. have three SMEs who are using the platform, different parts of the platform, and we will hear their experience. So tonight we have it end to end and we'll have all your questions answered. And we're gonna start with a conversation with Gregory Peart. Um, Gregory is the sales and relationship manager for the payment services division of the National Commercial Bank. He is, um, he has been, uh, he possesses over 15 years experience in the financial services and has helped businesses across all sectors to improve their acceptance of and payments electronically. And the great thing with Gregory, he knows how to break things down and he would know how to break things down well because he has a Bachelor of Science degree in Banking and Finance from the University of the West Indies, the great University of the West Indies. He also holds a Bachelor, a Master's of Business Administration from the Florida International University and a postgraduate diploma in business administration from the Milner School of Business. He holds right. several certifications and has held leadership positions in sales and service management, promotions and sales, product development, and he's currently doing his PMP designation. So we're going to have a great conversation today with Greg Repaired. Cecile, we have a lot of first timers. Hello yeah. to first timers welcome to episode 35 and we're looking forward to you actually going and binge watching our previous 34 episodes greg repaired welcome to covid cast ja great to have you welcome welcome gregory fantastic to have you so maybe the place for us to start is a basic introduction what is this platform gregory and what does it do what are the main features you mute. Mute. Ah. Give us that energy. Come, we see that energy a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, thank you very much, Rochelle and Nevada. It's great to be here. Very, very excited. So, we've heard the cries of our customers about the pain in getting set up. And we've listened to say, okay, it was difficult to get set up. When I do get set up, it's difficult to get customers to the site. And when I do that, it's still difficult to manage the inventory, to manage the logistics for the shipping. So what we've done is that we've partnered with a fintech and we are now able to provide a solution that solves all those pain points. It's easy, it's simple, and it's super fast, and it's safe. And it's a way that you can get set up. We've had merchants like Tropical Treasures in Montego Bay. They use just his iPad and was set up within a week, and he had 4,000 SKUs set up using only his iPad, and he now had a website that he could now target his customers who would normally come from overseas and buy from his store in Montego Bay. He, he could now sell to them and ship via DHL that we have the integration with. So what we have is a solution that you can use to sell online and it's simple and easy. Okay, so tell me what it is that I need. So I'm a, I'm a business, I'm selling, as you said, a hundred products. When I come to, um, when I come to your, your, your platform, what do I need? What do I have to come with? All right, so it depends on the type of business. If it's you're just offering a service where you're not trading or anything, then we can yes. use a personal account. But mm -hmm. if you're trading, like you're buying and selling goods, then we need to have you set up with a business account. And once okay. you 
we can determine which one of the solutions is best for you. Because we have a number of solutions, and I don't want to tell you about all of them, but mm -hmm. in bite size is to ensure that everybody can understand all the solutions. All right. So talk to us first in about it, so we know it, right? Talk to us first about the figure roll, and then tell us what are the other, say two, is the two more popular ones? Yeah. Or the right, no figure problem. is the name, what do you say, figure roll? Yes, okay. that's correct. So, so right. tell us first about, about that. All right, so e-commerce has been around for a long time, right? Yes. Lots of social commerce that you can buy and sell goods in a very social environment. It can be via Instagram DM, can be via Facebook Messenger, via WhatsApp. So what mm -hmm. we do is that you now have payment buttons, which can be either like a text message or a graphic that you send via WhatsApp. It's almost like yeah. a payment link, right? Mm -hmm. they, your customer receive it, they open it, and they can enter their card details or depending on the type of phone they have, if they have like an iPhone, they use a Sapphire app and just take a picture of the card and it upload the, all the entire card details that are just sent to the CVV and they make the payment. So that's a payment button option. So there was payment some button. Hold on, Gregory, because that already sound quite um extraordinary. So, yeah. <laughs> so the customer don't need anything except if not, the, all they need is a WhatsApp. Right. And I, as the retailer or the seller, just need to send them something by WhatsApp, a payment button. That's and they correct. Click that payment button, they enter their credit card information and click pay or send you back the WhatsApp and the money then gets um charged. No, they, just, they just click pay now and the payment goes through and you get another yeah. same time to say that the payment has gone through. And okay. one of the things that's great about this, you know, business customers never used to like give people their account number. They feel almost kind yeah. of like, Yes. They're oversharing. No, you don't need to give anybody a account number. They don't need to know which branch your account is at. All they need to do is enter their card details and put through the payment. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, wait, so that's wait, the payment. Wait, wait, Go ahead, Rochelle. Just a quick question on the payment button. Cause you know, never had anything that sounds too magical to me. I am like, no, that's magical. So yeah. as the as the retailer, as the um business person. What yes. do I need to have? Because I I now have access to this payment button that I send to my customer. What happens on my end? What is what what is the relationship that I develop with NCB to be able to get access to the payment button? Okay, so once you sign up for e-commerce with us, and quick tip to sign up, you can go on jncb.com forward slash e-commerce and enter your information and we reach out to you to sign up the documents and then you'll be able to get a merchant number and you have your profile and with that profile you'd create whether or not you want to have an open payment button or you want to do a payment button per product or you want to do a payment button in jamaican or us so like what we found is that like churches or clubs and societies they'll use the open payment button so let's say you're having church service online you just have your payment button there people click on it and determine what they want to donate Donation. Right. Oh my wow. Yes. <laughs> so it's great for charities as well. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. You know, yes. the church you need that kind of support now to help out in the community. Yes. So people not probably going. So that's one way they can receive the payment. So that's yes. one option. So once you've gotten set up as a yes. merchant, then there's a you'd have the back end access to a portal and yes. you mean what is the pay what payment button you want? If you want to put a right. value to it or you want it to be open, and you just copy and paste that. You copy and paste it in WhatsApp or copy okay. in Instagram DM or Facebook or in an email. Yes, yes. Wow. Really, really fantastic. Yeah. No, so, and why would somebody choose a payment per product? So you mean a payment about if I have a hundred products to use it for every single product? Why what would make an SME select that? So let's say you you're sending it to one customer because yes. you not have a oh, you may not have a payment button just listed one place, but you send it to a particular customer. When yes. they they can just adjust the quantity. So let's say I'm doing fish fry, for yes. example, or I'm doing lunches and it's a standard cost. Then you mm -hmm. can increase the number, the quantity, and then you yeah. can do the payment as the card order. Understood. Oh. Understood. Okay, so payment button is the first one. What is the other other platform options? Right. So let's say you don't want that amount of friction where each time you're receiving a payment, you're mm -hmm. a payment button. 
because mm -hmm. you may not be doing out of B2Bs, or not, you may not be a distribution company. You're a massive retail where people are going on your site. So each time mm -hmm. you don't have to do that. So mm -hmm. option where instead of having a developer, and that's what that was one of the pain points that customers had before to say, I don't know which developer to engage, it's too difficult. So yeah. I want something simple. What you what you now get is a is an opportunity to just literally drag and drop images. You need to have images of your product and yes. you need to inventory. So let's say you're selling cups, right? In a mail cup. So you say yes. 100 in a mail cups, um, 1,500 each, and you set the inventory on your back end and yes. it will sell more than you have. So when you've depleted that inventory, it won't be there anymore for you to sell. You need to update your inventory to indicate that. What you talking about? Yeah. Whoa, I can't cause bad word, Rochelle. No, no, no. Two weeks ago, we did a, um, a show on inventory management. Yes. And one of the biggest things that go on in the market at SMEs is pure chaos in the back end. We said yeah, that yet. Look right in the back room. You know, all that confusion. So the whole idea now that my payment system is also yeah. going to track as yes. things get sold, that is also a platform changing thing because that also the inventory is a big, big problem. Managing inventory is a big, big problem for SMEs. Yeah, man, most definitely. And once you, when you're doing the inventory, if you put the weight, so you say this is uh, 0.5 pounds, it's yes. easy to integrate it with the shipping. So one is the select that I want it shipped to them and it yes. has to integrate uh, with like DHL. They'll calculate the cost of shipping and DHL, mm -hmm. you as the SME, and then do it to the end customer. And that's okay. global, globally. And Gregory, I can buy the customer, can buy 10 products, 20 products, 100 products, and just one payment. Definitely. Once you have the inventory and you're using the website template, he yes. is, when you're doing the website template, is that you need to have good images of your product. Yeah. Selling. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Right? And they need to put the proper description so that mm -hmm. they can. Okay, this cup is what is about three and a half inches. Yes. In height or what circumference? They need the details because they don't want to buy it and think it's something bigger. And when they get it now, they want to raise dispute on the transaction or charge back the transaction to say they weren't clear what they were purchasing. Yes. 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 So, um, Gregory, the option. Yes. As you mentioned, DHL tied into the entire product that you're receiving from NCB is a portion that also includes the, the, the shipping aspect of it through DHL. Yes, and that's optional. So the merchant can choose whether or not they want to do that. Because if you just have your bike man who, you know, say Mr. Richie, going go down there, say, say you can either set a standard cost of shipping mm -hmm. or can set that is curbside pickup you have different options or if yes. you have another option you don't must use one of the the integrated solutions yes yes you can set shipping rates for different regions right, right. If you're in kingston now and you're selling cups in kingston it says 500 dollars but anything outside of kingston and st catherine you're setting yes. a shipping rate for 1500 so you can set that as well Okay. Sorry, Greg, I have a question here from Sandra Ati, just to be clear, because this is what a lot of people are confused about. What about persons who offer services online, can take payment for services, which is said, and receive payment by PayPal? Can this allow us to um, receive our U.S. payment in Jamaica? This, you know? as my, my understanding is, this is now the substitute for PayPal. All of that hassle that you were dealing with, with PayPal and long to pay and the big, big money after pay, this platform is your substitute. Have I got that correct? So I've, I'm so glad Sandra asked that question. So Sandra, I hope you're listening. So we see with our solutions, you can, you can get payment in your Jamaican account or your US account, and it is credited by the next day. All transactions done up to 4 p.m. each business day is paid in your bank account. By 7 a.m., you're seeing it in your NCB, US, or JMD account. Anything after 4 p.m., you're seeing it on the next business day. So after 4 p.m. on Tuesday, you're going to see it on Thursday morning. Before 4 p.m. on Tuesday, you're going to see it on Wednesday morning. And we accept all MasterCard, Visa, and KeyCard. 
whether it's a prepaid card, a debit card, or a credit card. Any of those cards we accept. So, and it's very easy, and we accept all major currencies. So if you sell it to somebody in Canada, that's fine. Some UK, someone, it, all the major currencies we accept. You just set your prices, whether it's Jamaican or US. And wow. based on the price, that if you set your price in US, then it will be credited to your US account. If you choose not to have a US account, it would all be converted and credited to your yeah. Jamaican account. Okay. Or if you okay. Only want to sell in US, everything goes to your US account based on the prices that you set on your website. So you have okay. This is really um this information is really exciting our viewers because um as Nevada just mentioned one of the questions we have a lot of questions. So I'm just going to take two more questions. Please keep the questions going. Alicia asks, I already have a WordPress website. How can Figaro help me to accept payment? Okay, so great question, Alicia. So there are two ways you can do it. So one, the same payment button you can put on your WordPress website, just as though you'd have copied and pasted it in your WhatsApp message or your Instagram DM. You yes. can put each product. But what I'll tell you, Alicia, is what I've told many customers. Try the website template for free and then compare it. You will provide the first month is free. And once you use the code NCB1M, as in NCB1 month, you get the first month is free. Free. If you don't use that code, then you only get 14 days free. That's the standard that they offer. And then you can compare the experience on your WordPress website versus the, the Figaro shops, as we call it, NCB website template. Oh, but just I get it properly, Gregory. So the website template is not just about the payment part. The website, it's a website. template, it's a, website. A, a website template in the same way WordPress is a web website that template. Is correct. Oh, so somebody get... comment. Una go hard when it's about hard. Una go hard. So, <laughs> so let me tell you some great things as well. So <laughs> let's say you will set up your adrenaline rush for sales, mm. Russia, right? If you don't want to have your customized name, you get a free domain, which would now be adrenalinerush.figuroshops.com. But you're thinking bossy, it's large. So you don't want that. So you're going to buy a domain name, which on average is probably like 15 US for the year. So you mm -hmm. can say www.adrenalinerush.com and using that same website template. Oh, wow. <laughs> Um, I'm also seeing here a very good question from Bridget. Bridget Thompson Dunkley asks, do I need to have a registered business for e for e-commerce to access this service? Well, you know, Bridget, I'm <laughs> glad you asked that question. So the answer depends. If you're offering a service in your name, so Rochelle Cameron of a uh, motivational speaker, she can do it in her name. Doesn't need to be a registered business, the money going to her personal account. But if Rochelle says, okay, no, my thing, I don't want it in my name again. I'm going to be Adrenaline Rush Unlimited. Then yes. it's a business account, and then she'll need to have a registered business. And a great thing, whether or not you do it as a registered business or as in your individual name, you also still qualify for pre-approved credit facilities just by virtue of being a merchant. So immediately, once you're operating for at least six months, immediately, you get a yeah. credit card, and uh, that's a Visa business card or MasterCard business card, and that's a limit up to 500000 Okay, so yes. Operating, we look at your cash flows, and if you yes. need working capital, we give you a constitutional rate of loans to reinvest in the business. Because well, you are seeing the sales that I'm doing. That is correct. That's so, correct. Gregory, a lot of people asking different ways, like, can you use it for Villa? Can you use it for this? You can basically use it for everything. That's right. obviously a a legal product so you don't need guys to ask you can i use it for this can i use it for that can i use it for villa rental you can use it for anything where somebody pays you with a credit card anywhere in the world just to be yeah, clear card, all card, card, all card. Card. yeah that's correct that's correct wow and um in regard to nevada i know you have some questions on cost because Ivan yeah. Marquez is actually asking she says waiting on costs <laughs> but, yes. Yvonne, it's not a secret we're very transparent okay set up dot com forward slash e-commerce and under the faqs you'll see the cost i think it's question 600 faqs and we even do a calculation to give you an example so okay 
example, if you do sales of five thousand dollars, the net amount in your account is like four thousand five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. And okay. that is a variable cost based on your percent the sales, and there's yeah. also a flat monthly fee as well. But we're very transparent and it's all on the website. Okay. Double jncb.com forward slash e-commerce the monthly fee ranges depending on the package that you choose from mm -hmm. like yes. 99 to 49.99 us per month the reason that some of these costs are in us because we're built in us yes. right okay that's why so um sorry and the setup costs gregory how much is that so all right so we're talking about so far we've been talking about the web the payment button and the website template there is an activation fee of 60 US that you can use a credit card to pay on the site. Okay. But we have a number of options. So we haven't talked about all the options yet. Today. That's just two. Hey. All right. One, one, one more because, again, we don't want to overwhelm the people then. What's the right. third option? Hey, hey. Right. So, hello, man. I'm going to tell you the two in simplicity. So let's say okay. you don't want to do, do your own work. You don't want that. You want to be on a shared website. Just like how you might go to a plaza or a mall. Uh, mm -hmm. with a number of stores. It's the same concept. Or if you think about it, just like how you go on Amazon and you see a number of stores. In Germany, a number of online mall options. And if your business doesn't have that brand recognition as yet, you can still do both the shared website plus your own. So like yes. you have your sneakers, you can either go straight to Nike or you can go on Amazon and type sneakers and you see a, a variety of sneakers. So we offer that option through our merchants who provide that online marketplace option. So okay. shared website that you wouldn't have to do anything, but you would yeah. have agreement with those merchants. In that case, your agreement is not with NCB, but it's with these merchants who provide that facility. Okay. How many people have signed up already, um, Gregory? Well, if you're talking about Figaro uh, in general, I can tell you it's huge, globally over 16,000. And they mm -hmm. have won an award from Visa uh, based mm -hmm. on the impact that they've had in e commerce. In yes. Jamaica, we've had 100 signing up. Uh, yes. We started this last year, but it picked up since COVID. So, okay. so we, we, we've gotten quite a bit of traction. But if you don't, let's say your business, based on yes. the nature, you require not a website that you can customize a little bit, but you need mm -hmm. a very folk solution. Okay, you need Gregory, but as well. Gregory, let me ask you something though. If you had this last year, why just now you're pushing? Because we were we have been searching for a solution since March, April, May. Why are you kind of just pushing out there? Because had we had we heard about this in the summer, we would certainly have because that, as I said, it was some of the frustrations. Yes. If you're when you when you're driving, you may never see a red car, but the yes. moment you start looking for a red car or you drive okay. a red car. Everywhere you go, you see a red car. Yes, so, yes. You know, everyone you ask me that question, Ronnie Devil <laughs> just said, um, what you say about Gregory? Um, Gregory Real is deal. a new deal salesperson because I'm so good. We're seeing red cars now. And yeah. Gone through. So if our viewers are just joining us today, we're talking about selling online and it just got easier. We are joined now by Gregory Pierce, who is sales and relationship manager for NCB, and he's taking us through the various options that the NCB platform has that you are able to know not only receive payment from your Jamaican customers, but you can receive payment from your customers that use any major currency in the US, the UK, Canada. Um, he's talked to us about a payment button, that payment button that you're able to send a quick WhatsApp to your customer with the payment option. They click on it, they put in the information, it is paid, goes straight to your account. He's talked to us about the website template that's provided as a part of the service. So in fact, if you had another website pay, um, portal, you may want to try this platform so it can be populated with your products but the best part about that is it also has an inventory management system built in into it so boom bam bam and then it run in your bank account so you're doing some bank recon at the same time then there's also a shared website option and he was just telling us about the customized platform 
all major credit cards are accepted as well as debit cards. So this is a fantastic solution as we've been urging our SMEs to go online and you've been asking, how am I going to receive payment? There are several options provided by the by National Commercial Bank. Again, the website is JNCB dot com slash e-commerce it's right in the comment section i would have just go up on it right now and sign up never had any more questions for yes. Excited. Um, yes no this is this, this is um this is very good so again no in order to get set up for christmas and cannot write so here are the ones that can get set up for christmas if i already have an account a business account with ncb i can get set up Definitely. if i if i am selling a service so not products um, but I will, I'm doing it through my name. So not through a business so like name. My Google services. Correct. My services. I can get set up. Definitely. Definitely. The issue becomes if I'm an unregistered business and I want to be set up as a registered business and then do this with all of the requirements, I may not be able to do it in time for Christmas. But the no, other thing. Okay. It, it's a little bit more work you have to do at the front end, but you yes. can get is registered and get your seal within two days and okay. once you also get i need a tcc from the company's office and okay the biggest hurdle in getting yeah. a business account open so uh, if it's a brand new registered business you can still get ready to accept payments of yes. christmas with or without a website okay okay one last question now gregory um our show has big reach and after the show we typically promote it beyond this are you set up in terms of capacity to be able to manage people coming on? Because one of the worst things that can happen is that you start to have a lot of people interested. And then all we are here on the big thing is that, well, I'm going to talk about this and I can't reach them and I can't do this and I can't do that, whatever, whatever, whatever. Do you have the capacity to absorb in additional oh. things in time for Christmas? Because remember, everybody focus on Christmas now. They never make the money earlier this year. Let me answer the question for you this way, Nevada. We yes. have a staff complement just over the last month and a half. We've also refined our processes and our, our suppliers have also refined their processes and digitized a number of aspects of it. And they've yes. also sent your staff complement. So we're ready. The question is, are your viewers ready? Okay, fantastic. Rochelle, this is really, really good news. I hear them big word from Gregory. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Gregory, we are ready and we can mm. go to the website right now because mm. it's up 365 days, 366 mm. when it's a leap year, 24 hours for the day. Um, one last question, Gregory. Um, can I do everything on the website um, or do I need to come in branch? Do I need to go into a branch? All right. So for account opening, business account opening, we still require for it to be face to face. Similarly, for merchant services we're not there yet but we're working aggressively towards getting there so for personal account opening you can do that online i can do a number of things online or on our app but for personal account opening you can do that online and once it, we'll have a conversation with you over the phone we have people all across the island not just in kingston all across the island uh every parish we have people everywhere and we come to you as well okay, so you okay. come in branch for many of the solutions that we have, because we will come to you. Yeah, and Nevada had mentioned that we do have far reach because Brenda Palmer is asking, if you're a Jamaican living abroad, are you eligible for this offer? So if the business is in Jamaica, mm -hmm. our ISO to accept payments that we have with the payment associations are for companies that are in Jamaica. Okay. All right. And I see, um, hi, Dr. Smith. Dr. Smith is giving um, kudos. She says they're super efficient. If you're in St. Anne, contact Rohan McDonald at oh, any <laughs> curious so or is on my team. <laughs> Rohan. <laughs> I agree. So let's go to the demo to get Kamara and yeah. I move to the demo. Yes. Because I know people are still wondering. Alicia says she's she has to see it to believe it. So <laughs> okay. Those of you who have to see it to believe it, thanks very much for joining us. Gregory Peart, Sales and Relationship Manager, NCB. Thank you for breaking it down for us and exciting us about this new product from the National Commercial Bank. Thanks, Gregory. So 
I know for many of you, just like myself, when we see these things, we're like, no, we have to see it, you know, because otherwise it feel like magic. So we're going to be joined right now by Kemar. Kemar is Kemar Harris. He's director of, of Pow Social, and he's actually going to do a demo for us. So Kemar is founder of Genius Digital Commerce and co-founder of Cartmazing, a local e-commerce marketplace. He holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Computer Science and Information Technology from the University of Technology, Jamaica, and postgraduate degree in Digital Marketing, marketing from the Digital Marketing Institute. He is an e-commerce expert full stop, professional website developer and digital marketing leader. Today he has, to date, he has developed, and you look so young, over 1,000 websites, Kemar, enough that, and spends most of his time helping businesses to go digital and leverage the power of e-commerce. Thank you for joining us, Kemar. People have been waiting with baby for you to come on because you are going to be doing the demo and we got to see it to believe it. So Kemal, right. um, over to you, you're going to share your screen and because we're excited. <laughs> Can I say I love the energy in the room and I'm very excited to do the walkthrough tonight. All right, so let me bring up my screen and give you a quick run through of what this platform is. So Gregory did mention that it is powered by Figaro, mm -hmm. right? So this is a quick preview of Figaro. This is their website. You will see that they provide Figaro shops. They provide the payment buttons that he spoke about. They provide invoicing that he also mentioned, right? And it's a very amazing platform. I just wanted to show you the front end of it because this is where you go to sign up and even learn more about it. Okay. So I'm going to jump right into my account now and give you an a quick run through of what it actually looks like because someone said they need to see it to believe it so i know that i have to show it tonight right okay so when you sign in when you sign up and mm -hmm. you sign in to figure out this is exactly what you see this is a dashboard okay dashboard will give you basic information about the sales you know their revenue your invoices just quick updates on your activity so what i want to touch on tonight really quickly is i want to show you you know figaro shops how you can have a website set up in no time all right and i want to show you as well the payment buttons that gregory spoke about then i want to touch on shipping and just show you how you can do all of this without the need to hire someone or it doesn't get complicated at all and before i get into it i, I want to just bring up a quick website that i took a few minutes to do with this you know, NCB website template powered by Figaro. So this is my website. Um, just a quick demo store that I created. And I'll mm. tell you that it took maybe 10 minutes maximum. Everything set up, ready to accept payments. It's all good and ready to go. This is using the template that Gregory told us about? Yes, this is using one of the many templates that are available within the system. Okay. I just quickly, you know, created it, added my logo, changed up some information. You know, I have my shop page there. If someone goes right now to the shop, mm -hmm. bring up the shop page. All right, if someone goes right now to the shop, they can actually add products to the car and they can go to checkout. They will see the shipping rates that have entered. They okay. will be able to pay using, you know, NCB key card, Visa card, or MasterCard, any international, any of those cards, they can pay right away and mm -hmm. it's all set up and ready to go. So, this is my shop page. Let's okay. say that someone wants to buy this phone, they come click on it. Mm -hmm. You know, I could even configure the options. I could say that this item is available in black, it's available in gold. Bear with me now, I just put in some dummy content so don't criticize my pictures. <laughs> Not gold. <laughs> Yes, but ensure that your pictures represent what you are selling when you are doing it. Okay. And I can even configure different prices based on the options available to the product. So if I go now at the cart, I'm just browsing it like a regular customer. You see, I can have a coupon code. Sorry, go ahead. No, I think this is very bossy. Very, very nice, very simple, very straightforward. Uh, no, I'm a developer and I will build an amazing website from scratch. But I tell you, it takes time. But with Figaro, it's all there, all ready to go. Okay. 
all ready to go, no technical skills required. If someone has a coupon code, they can enter it here, apply that coupon code, and you know, get a discount. And I control that from within the back end of the system as well. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and check out. Mm -hmm. As I'm checking out, let me just enter some. I want to show you that it's real now. Someone said seeing is believing. Just enter some quick information so that I can proceed to check out. All right, I'm in Kingston. Continue. So I'm now on my checkout page. Okay. So very odd. Okay. Let me see if that fixes it. All right, I'm not sure why I'm getting this, but I wanted to check out. Maybe I didn't spend enough time on it this time around, but I wanted to show you that it you can go, everything is there. The shipping rates, everything is literally there and ready for you. So when Gregory talked about using a website template, you go onto the system, what you're using that package, for instance. You use yeah. you set up your website based on the templates that are there. The person is able to go in, you can put in the different configurations for your product. There is actual checkout that includes shipping. And Gregory mentioned that there's an arrangement with DHL. And in this one space, you can go from posting your product to actually having it sold and the money in your account. Money. Wow. Alicia yeah. says. Um, can a Figaro shop be integrated with print on demand services like Printify or Printful? Can that happen, Kamara? No, one thing to bear in mind is that Figaro is, you know, a very straightforward, very simple system. So something like that may require, if you're looking to automate it, something like that will require a bespoke solution like Gregory spoke about. In that oh, case, you want to connect with a developer to build you a custom system. But you can still find ways to use Figaro. It just means that as you get the notification, you may have to send off the request, contact the customer, you know, and get things going. But you can't, Figaro can still play a key part, especially with the invoicing. Okay, wonderful. Anything else you're going to show us today, Kemar? Because you, 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 you're making this thing come alive for us, man. Yes, yeah, so I just showed you the front of the website. You haven't seen it yet. You haven't seen how simple it is. So this is a dashboard. I want to show you really quickly how i was able to build that you know quick website mm -hmm. so within figaro's dashboard you have a section called shops if you subscribe to figaro shops you get this portal and you know as i came in a few things i did i uploaded my logo they asked for your logo this little icon is the icon that appears at the top of your browser and i could enter my custom domain name now figaro gives you a free figaro domain name i could decide that i wanted you know, Kemar, Kemar's store, that Figaro shops that come. But no, I wanted to put in a custom domain name. So you can buy your domain name, like Gregory mentioned, for 50, you know, 15 US approximately per year. And then you can enter your own domain name. Maybe my domain name is KemarHarris.com. I enter it there. And, you know, when persons go to my domain, once everything is configured, they get taken to my shop that I just launched. And all of this can be done in just a few minutes. Oh, wow. And I can see if Yvonne Mirage is very engaged because Yvonne is actually helping to solve the issue I had before. She said, did you add anything to the inventory, Kamara? Maybe that's why it's not working. Maybe it couldn't be sold because nothing was in that inventory. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't worry. Don't, don't worry about it. It works. So uh, I want to show you the back end. I'm going to have to go through, of course. I love Yvonne. Thank you for helping. No. The, the template, so we mm. mentioned website templates. What I love about Figaro is the fact that you have these amazing templates. If I come down to change template, you, you can click on these previews and you see different options in terms of how your website can look. Okay. You seeing that? You're seeing different options, how, exactly how your website can look. And I can simply just come and decide that, okay, Maybe I like this template more than the one that I have now. 
Mm -hmm. I come and I click change template. And if I was to go now back to my store, I mean, once you save, one thing I always forget is to publish changes. But once you do that, you go to your store, you're able to see that, you know, many things would have changed. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can pull it back up just to show you. It's very simple and straightforward. I'm going to jump right back to my shop page. And remember, they can change the color scheme as well. Yeah, even your yeah. color scheme, everything can be changed, right? So you want to really spend spend some time. I did mine quickly, but spend some time. Choose a template that you really like, and then come to customize template. You can enter the colors. For me, I wanted you know to use green in my color scheme. I wanted to use you know, gray, you can change your font, find a font that suits you. You can do all of this, right? And your pages, you can manage the different pages that you have on the platform. So I created for myself a home page, a mm -hmm. private policy page, all of these pages, right? You just come create a page. You can add the different sections that you want to it. Won't spend much time on it, but I wanted to show you that it's very simple and very straightforward. So on my About Us page, I just entered some quick content into okay. the title about the business, some dummy content here, a picture, you know, and it's just very simple and straightforward. You don't need a developer. You don't need to be, you know, a, a, a techie person per se to do this. You just need basic internet skills. If you're on a computer right now watching, you can do this, right? You can do this. And, and Gregory, when I'm hearing you go through this, um, I know you were stepping on my corner a while ago when you talked about basic computer skills. I feel like I can do this. <laughs> of course you can do this. You can. You <laughs> definitely can. So this is where you manage the appearance of your website. I could change the items that show up in my menu. Right? I could do all of that. I could change the products that show on my home page. I have total control. Right? So that's the... That's the shop section of it where you can customize the look and feel. All the images that you saw there, I added them. I could go in right now and change all of them. Can no, you show this, So, Kimar, I know you're running out of time, Kimar. So, I'm going to ask to ensure that you show the payment button. And I want to bring everybody's attention to the dashboard. One of the things I love about it is this dashboard on the right in the center of your screen. Yeah. You can see all your transactions. And you can see the comparison for today this month, previous month. So you have a quick view of what's happening. Yes. Thank you, Gregory. Okay, so I'm gonna touch on the payment buttons, but before I do that, let me show you how simple it is to add a product. Because in most cases, if you're gonna do a payment button, maybe you want to do a payment button for a product, right? So to add a product, you simply go to the product menu. You, you hit this you know, plus button to create a new product. And I'm gonna create a product really quickly for you. So I have, you know, my product title here. You give your product a title. Um, it asks you for the description of the product. Gregory spoke in detail about ensuring that you put good descriptions. You know, mm -hmm. describe what your product is. And another thing that is there that you can do is that you can have multiple currencies on your site. Your site can support both whether Jamaican or US. So right now, mine is configured with both Jamaican and the US. So I can indicate that my currency is Jamaican. So the J dollar sign will represent Jamaican and just the dollar sign will represent US, right? And now I can enter the title for my product. So I'm adding a t-shirt. I can say that the cost of this t-shirt is 2000. The weight is, I'm not sure of the weight now, but I'll enter something here just to start. The weight is just 5, 0.05 kg. And the code here, a lot of us are familiar with that stock keeping unit code, right? That oh. unit code that represents your product. You can use it here. So this but helps to manage your inventory now. Help you to manage your inventory. You don't sell more than what you have available in stock. Okay. And this section that says show on website, you want to tick that. You want to press that if, you know, you want the item to show. Then you can add it to, you can add your categories. You can do all of these things. You can upload your image. So I'm going to upload an image of my shirt. I'm going to go ahead and add. And what you will see is that the product is now available on my website. 
And mm-hmm. someone may ask, how come they didn't add, you know, size options and, you know, all of those options. You can also add different options to your product size, you know, color options. You can add all of those and allow customers to select. So now that I've added that product and it's available on my website, maybe I need to do a payment button because mm-hmm. I have a customer waiting on WhatsApp or waiting on Facebook yes. just to buy, right? So here's how the payment buttons work. You come to the payment buttons option and you have three types of payment buttons, custom payment buttons, allow you to either enter that, you know, for this payment button, the customer pays $2,000. Or mm-hmm. maybe you want to leave it open in the case of a charity or a church. Allow them to enter the amount that they want to pay you. Or maybe you want to do a product payment button. In my case, I may want a payment button for this particular product that I just added. So I select the product, click create payment button. Immediately that link is generated for me, Rochelle. Mm-hmm. That link is generated for me. I can share it to WhatsApp, Facebook, anywhere. Or I can just copy it, send it to the customer, we are talking about, about, about that. So you could share this yeah. to your social media pages. So you can actually share it to your Facebook, etc. You can ads. You can you can do anything with it. You can share it anywhere, and customers will be taken to this nice checkout page. As Gregory mentioned, they can enter the quantity, proceed to checkout. You know, and it's all there. When they purchase, your inventory count will go down. Everything else is automated for you. The shipping rates that apply to them will appear. You know, it's all, you know, totally amazing. Wow. We, he also mentioned, you know, the custom payment button. So maybe I'm offering a service and I don't mm-hmm. necessarily have a product for it, but I want customers to pay me. I need this customer to pay me $10,000 right now. I need to get the job done. Yes. But you say, okay, let me just put um cleaning service. I put cleaning service where it says button type. I can change it from open to fix. And now I can put in I said ten thousand, right? Yes. Ten thousand. Hit save. And then now what I need to do is get payment button. And immediately, just like before, the payment button is generated for me. I can share it with a customer. When the customer clicks it in WhatsApp or wherever they clicked it, they see that they are making a payment of 10000 They click continue. They go ahead and make the payment. And the money comes to my account within 24 to 48 hours, depending on when they did it. Okay. And Yvonne Mirage asks, can you categorize inventory, example, clothing, jewelry, etc.? Ah, definitely, you can, you can. So now that you see how the payment buttons work, let me just show you some of the other options that were available. So first of all, I can have different inventories. I can have different office and locations that I'm tracking inventory for. So that is available under the inventory tab. Now, if I go over back to my product, let's let me let's say I'm editing this particular product. I can categorize the product. I can indicate what taxes apply to this product, if any. I can go to inventory and I can indicate that I have 20 of these items in my Montego Bay office. I can indicate that, you know, I have maybe five in my Kingston office. And mm-hmm. so the website will also manage the inventory for me. Wow. And um, a question was asked about WordPress, but I see Rani um because rani is helping us here too rani says what we're saying is that this platform is actually an alternative to wordpress so you would get access to be able to set up your website this figaro um based website christopher Dorel says that payment button integration is a game changing solution most importantly thanks to kemar um it looks very easy to set up thanks a lot Kemar, for walking us through that demo um because when i tell you when 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 me send me look like me can do it i don't know, instantly give me a headache yes. yeah it looks like it's doable so it viewers, you are wondering are there any people that are actually using these options because you're saying to yourself okay i've heard gregory gregory's a great salesman and i don't buy from gregory but has anybody else purchased 
and you've seen Kemar walk you through the demo and you are still saying to yourself, okay, Kemar, I hear you, but I just like to actually hear from some real customers how they have done this and what has their experience been. And today we're actually joined by some users of the NCB platform. Um, we're joined by Rory Wright, Rory White, who is founder and CEO of one of my favorite services, Seven Crave. So Seven Crave is a Jamaican foodie service created by Innovative Menu Solutions Limited. The company is located and operated in Kingston, Jamaica, and it allows you to order food online from several restaurants and get it delivered. Most of the restaurants would not have actually offered delivery before, and now we're able to get access to those services. We're also joined by the lady herself, Mrs. Janelle Pantry Coke, who is creative director and owner of Spaces Jamaica. This is the premier furniture and home decor store in Kingston. It's where value meets style. Since 2007, Spaces have been providing customers with a wide selection of affordable home furnishing products with an extensive inventory for every taste and every budget. We're also joined by Tej Bana Banahan, that I know I'm pronouncing the last name incorrectly, but he Tej will forgive me. He's managing director of KBAN Hardware Limited. And KBAN Hardware Limited serves individuals who are looking to construct or renovate any space or building. It has locations in Linstead, St. Catherine, Sablamar. This retail hardware company has been offering quality in home, in quality home improvement from foundation. So from grown up, from foundation to finishes. So let us welcome to COVID cast for this week, Rory, Janelle and Tej. Thank you all for joining us. And we have three different types of businesses. We have Rory, that's um, a food delivery service. Um, we have Janelle. Janelle has an actual physical space as well as a website. And Tej, you also have physical spaces <laughs> and you also have website options. Correct. So okay. we're, uh, as you mentioned, the hardware retail store based in Linstead and Sablamar. And this year we also went online using NCB's e-commerce services. Okay. So and as you mentioned, our tagline yeah, is from true. foundation to finishes. So we yeah, carry um, a wide range. Pardon? No, we have to start with you because what we want to understand is in regard to the NCB um, business platform, what part of the service are you currently using and how did you get set up? Tell us about relationship with NCB. All right. Tej? Yes, sir. Tej. Okay. So I'll start NCB. with Tej and then I'll, I'll move around. No problem. So um, NCB is our, one of our primary bankers. So we have a good existing relationship with them. Um, we've been having the idea of having an e-commerce platform in the pipeline for quite some time. And as most businesses this year most likely have faced is that with the pandemic, you know, and social distances and concerns, mm -hmm. concerns about people's safety, we started to explore the opportunity. So I spoke to my rep um, for merchant services, Turi, and he guided me through the process. Actually, I started in about April. He introduced me initially to Figaro, and it was very easy, very seamless. And you know, at that time, things had just started to emerge, and it only took about two to three weeks to get the entire thing set up. So we were live with a payment platform only at first by about May. Mm -hmm. So we're utilizing that service initially, and then we actually ended up phasing in about two months now we've launched our website. It's a full e-commerce platform, and that's a direct integration through NCB as well. So you can actually um, go online, browse our product catalog. It's not the extensive catalog, but it's about a third of it. So we have about 1,200 products online now. Um, and as Gregory had mentioned, the images are very important. So that was a painstaking process for us too. So we shot all our images in-house. The website is www.kbanltd.com. So you can mm -hmm. go and check it out. And they made it very easy to, to go through the process. They even guided us through the process of becoming a MasterCard secure code and verified by Visa, which mm 
which is extremely important, you know, because people who go online, they want to feel comfortable about purchasing online and knowing that you're on a secure platform and that your information, credit card information in particular, is, is going to be secure. Yes. yes so this simply means no that I can when I need my hardware service, um, when I need some hardware supplies, I could actually just go onto the KBAN website. I can order and pay for the products and I could have them delivered to me. Correct. Correct. So we have, like I said, most of our product offering is online, not our entire product offering. So we still utilize Figaro to complement our services. So we, we service our customers, we supplement using WhatsApp, phone calls, and email as well, sometimes to send out some quotations. Yeah. But if you're browsing for a lot of you know, um, renovation products, or especially now we're going into the Christmas, tiles, paint, they're all able to browse online. You can add it to your cart, um, check out, and you can also pick up in branch or get direct delivery island-wide. Oh, that's fantastic. Thanks for that, Tej. Rory, um, you, your business is a little different because you interface with several merchants and you provide a delivery service from these various merchants. Can you tell us how your system integrates with NCB and what have you, what options have you been using? All right. So it's just a beauty to witness the evolution of e-commerce here. Um, we started in 2015 with no credit card option. Um, the credit card option came on in 2016, but it wasn't, it wasn't NCB at first. It was Stripe, and it was an overseas company, it's similar to PayPal, right? Yeah. Because what we wanted, we wanted to bring Jamaica to that first world level, right? Uh, where people could just use a credit card and thing. But with Stripe and PayPal, it had significant issue with liquidity. So in terms mm -hmm. of getting your money, a huge, huge problem. Our NCB came to our rescue. And I'm going to tell you, NCB is four startups. I mean, NCB is four startups, right? So NCB worked with me getting our, our, our entire platform. They backed it in terms of the whole e-commerce is put about by NCB. When Greg will tell you about your money reaching the next day, he's not lying, right? We have been with NCB from 2016, back in the whole e-commerce so every payment go through their gateway right okay. and your money gets to you the next day you know that is what i want to talk about how important that is and i know for many persons looking to start their business money liquidity is important when are you going to get that money that money that the customer just paid when is it coming into my account and i can tell you it's the next day it's in the account bank reconciliation everything is a breeze right um and NCB one of the first, and is the best, I can say, bank in terms of e-commerce. Mm -hmm. That's the first, I mean, first to really support startup, right? Back in your website. So I knew this day would have come, right? Um, I didn't know it would come with Figaro, but I know NCB was always there for startups in terms of getting startups to accept payments and getting it to your bank in, in quick, quick time, right? So I can tell you, I am here a full advocate for all of this and right now uh, we're currently not on figaro but i'm seeing all oh, figaro is so easy to use and i'm seeing some ways i love that whatsapp thing i'm seeing where seven crib could use that um as it an additional option to how okay we have payments but i can Thank tell you you're hearing me yeah hearing me? Yeah, Marshall? You're in your, you went out for a little but you're back Okay, sorry about that, right? So I can say NCB, I'm fully with them, right? And I know that this what this figure, we're not on it yet, but I'm looking at it and I'm seeing where I can utilize it, right? Especially the, the WhatsApp payment button, that payment button is just remarkable, right? I was watching it, yeah. and I was like, I need that on the grave, right? I need it. So, but in terms of persons wanting to know, in terms of the support, you're going to get a tremendous support from NCB in terms of setting up, getting your payments, bank reconciliation. I've never had any issue whatsoever in terms of getting my money. And that is a game changer. So anybody having second thoughts about this, trust me, do not go overseas. Stay right here with NCB. Trust me, you, you, it, it, <laughs> it will be well worth it. And tell you that much. Right? And seven, for those who don't know, seven Crave is fully, fully, fully backed by NCB, 
right? Yeah. And actually, Rory, I always wondered when I ordered from Seven Crave and I put in my credit card, I said, I hope when I get in that money, but me just want my food delivered. Sorry for <laughs> that. It's good to know that you have been getting paid and you're yeah, getting money on time. So we've on heard Tej. Tej has talked to us about um, joining this um, NCB play payment in its base form and then moving to set up a website, having a third of his in entry on the website so now his customers are able to um get to order from anywhere in jamaica and get their um their goods their hardware goods delivered we have rory Wright white who has us talked to us about seven crave and seven crave he was able to really give a testimonial on your ability as a business owner to get paid which we need to get paid and um sim nielsen says love k-ban great service and their website is incredible i see a lot of um fans of k-ban jana patterson says omg mr white and then now we have one of my favorite people janelle pantry Koch, who is creative director of spaces limited and janelle i noticed recently i was like but spaces website is very turned up and I was wondering where all of this came from. And I said, I even went and I was there. I said, but you can do your payment and everything. I need to find out from Janelle what's going on here. So tell us, Janelle, tell us about this relationship that you have with NCB. Sure. sure. Hi, night, Rochelle. Hi, night, everyone. So good to be on. And um, so we've been uh, NCB customers ever since inception, ever since opening our doors. And we have doubled and always had a, a website presence. Maybe I would say maybe about the last five years or so. But the challenge that we were having is that we were not getting Jamaicans who lived in Jamaica to purchase mm -hmm. on the website. So we use another payment gateway, um, which we still use because we find that Jamaicans in the diaspora and persons overseas are familiar with that payment gateway. And then COVID hit. And like everyone in retail, you're like, well, we still have to open the doors. Persons are not necessarily coming in the foot traffic, but they still want to purchase for their home. So we turned to NCB and reached out to them to see what we could do in terms of how we could receive payments, um, credit card transactions online. And they came to us with this and we've been using it since April. So while we had a website before, mm -hmm. we have not converted to have the, the Figaro, we're not on the Figaro website platform, we have our own site. Um, so our next step for us is the integration of the payment gateway, but it was a quick and easy thing. So right now we can send persons a payment button via WhatsApp, um, send out an email. If you see something in the store or if you saw it on our Instagram page or something, we can just send you a link and you pay for it and we deliver or you do curbside pickup. And like Rory, we can say, you yes, you do get your money within 24 to 48 hours, depending on when the person made the payment online. Yeah. All right. Now, tell me the truth, though, because I'm listening to all of you and this sounds like it's pretty easy to access and set up. Um, Tej, let me start with you. Do you agree? Was this pretty easy? Did, what did you have any snags with with setting up? What how how have you found the entire service? Overall, the service was was excellent. Um, I was quite impressed with the setup time. I had expected it to be longer, to be honest. Uh, but like I mentioned, within two to three weeks, I was able to get my um, payment portal entirely up and running. Um, and at that time, you know, a lot of work from home guidelines were kind of being established. So even with that, considering that people are getting into the groove of that, you know, I think two to three weeks is extremely quick. And so probably people will be looking at a similar turnaround time or faster. Thank you. That's, and Rory, um, you have given your testimonial. You are working with several merchants and... Right speed of service for your business is so critical and if you tell you the speed of service is so critical um how how have you found the the actual setup of this you're very familiar with setting up these kinds of services how have you found it uh, well i remember we, we we set up in 2016 so it's yeah. before all of the ease of use now right so we took more than two to three weeks, right? We, we took a couple months. As I'm saying, it's remarkable now to see how easy it is now, yeah. right? Because then, um, Seven Crave was the first mobile app to really 
accept payments online. So it was kind of new for NCB as well, right? So but I can tell you, they didn't just drop it there and say, you know, first you're seeing this, so we can't do it. They actually worked with me, right? Um, we got it up and running, so we, we onboard the restaurants, um, put on their inventory, which is their food, and so persons will order, and we are the ones who, yeah, we host all the, the, the funds. So when somebody buys the food, it goes mm -hmm. to our account, right? And then we pretty much pay um, the restaurants, right? So, but I can tell you, it, it, it at first, it's about, I didn't say about two to three months, or, or yeah, they are both. But I can say it wasn't as easy as now. So when I'm seeing this now, I'm just, I'm just, it's mind blowing to see what Figaro is bringing to the table right now, right? Because in my time, 2016, it was everything was custom. I did everything from scratch. We have, we have our own developers. We have to be working with NCB back and forth and make sure everything is integrated. So now, when they're seeing all of that pain, the pain that we went through they to come up with Figaro. Trust me, it's mind blowing. So <laughs> I, 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 I envy those persons who would have it so easy, so so easy. You know, set up your e-commerce and you know, solid payments when we had we had it rough. So yeah, I love it. I love it, and I would strongly recommend it right? because this to me is like local Shopify. It's like a local Shopify. Right. Yeah, and in fact, somebody said that earlier. One of our comments was like, "It's like Shopify." Yeah, and it is, yeah. Janelle has been in business for quite some time. So Janelle, I see. I, I didn't even realize it was from two thousand and seven. Yes. <laughs> so you have seen very. You've seen the evolution of e-commerce and the evolution of payment options, and yes. your current experience. Um, how would you describe that experience when you compare it to where we're coming from? Oh my gosh, it's night and day. So I mean, our site has all you know. Prior to I would say, twenty twenty has all used to be just look. <laughs> just window shopping. <laughs> and um, now we actually see persons purchasing online. Um, we have a feature where you can actually chat with us. So you can chat, you know, do you really have this in stock? Yes, we do. Do you deliver island wide? Yes, we do. Can I buy online? Yes, you can. Um, so it, it's, it's amazing to see what's happening now with e-commerce and how, you know, payment gateways such as this have facilitated business to keep afloat and even expand in times like this. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much for that, Janelle. Um, I'm going to just give each of you an opportunity. Christmas is a coming and it's, it's a special Christmas. It's our special pandemic Christmas. Tej, um, what, what quick word of advice would you give to your fellow entrepreneurs who are online as they are looking to see what difference they can make in their business as Christmas approaches? You've gone e-commerce. Um, what quick tip would you give to, to our viewers? I would definitely encourage them to utilize the Figaro um, option, you know, especially with that payment button. Um, yes, it, one main thing is is cost. So I know people have been wondering what the cost is like, and as Gregor mentioned, the costing is actually really good. It's comparable mm -hmm. to if you were having a retail outlet and having a um, NCB point of sale, you know, the card machine terminal. So it's it's really comparable to that. So it's worth the investment, um, yes. especially in a time and day now where people are limited with the restriction on how they can move about. Um, some people, you know, might even want to shop online for family and they're stuck overseas. Um, this gives them the option to be able to do that. So I definitely encourage them, go ahead, get set up and you'll see the benefits. You know, we're in a different, we're in a totally different environment now. And even when we come out of this, you know, as we modernize and, and grow in Jamaica, it is something that will become the norm. So you want to be ahead of the pack. You want to get on board as soon as possible. Thanks for that, Tej. And we can find Kban at www.kbanlimited.com. Yes, www.kbanltd.com. Okay. And Seven Crave, people aren't able to move about as much as they did, and we have a 10 o'clock curfew. So they're going to be ordering from Seven Crave a lot. For those persons who are saying, well, it's Seven Crave, we're selling you know, but what about me? What words of advice would you give? All right, well, if you're thinking about 
anything entrepreneurial definitely ensure your your online go e-commerce right now is the time why why now is the time because one debit, debit visas on the rise right mm -hmm. debit master card on the rise pre prepaid card all of those things are on the rise right mm -hmm. everybody right now has a debit visa in their wallet or purse right so you realize jamaica is now shifting into that in that space that online shopping space so if your business is not online then pretty much you're in trouble so you have to go online right we are moving online the banks are moving online mastercard and visa right there with them debit card whether it's credit or debit you can now shop online so get your business online figaro looks very easy to set up i definitely take the one month subscription here i'm seeing ncb 1m go online and at least you know feel it out and then you know make a call for yourself but definitely yeah. go online thank you for that and matthew says i love hearing from these forward thinking entrepreneurs big up jamaica um a big up to you seven crave for keeping me fed really appreciate your service uh -huh. and, and and keep it up and as as get online if your business is not online you you will feel much of this pressure of covid this is big part of the pivot an operational pivot get online thanks a lot rory janelle <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you you've, you've done the full gamut you set up shop you dealt with covid you gone online you have a very um active instagram page what what kind of advice would you give to our our viewers Sure. I mean, whether you're offering a product that's a physical product or a service, you have to go digital with it. What we're seeing right now with us, as you said, you mentioned Pivot, we now offer interior decorating service globally with the fact that we can accept payments online. Um, so our business now operates 24 hours a day so if someone is overseas and decides that they're at this minute they're ready to make their payment buy something or commit to a service they can initiate and complete the process they're not waiting for operating hours in jamaica between 8 30 to 5 30. so it's 24 hours your your business is active 24 hours a day you can receive payments yeah so when you go on to bed you're still making money. Yes. <laughs> you send that invoice at five o'clock and you put your payment button on there. By the time you wake up in the morning, <laughs> if you're fortunate, it will be in your bank account. So the, the point is we have to get digital. We have to embrace these technologies that are out there. And doing the work is important. Having the product is important, but also collecting um, and getting paid for it is equally important. <laughs> yes. Wow, thank you so much, Janelle. And today we were joined by three entrepreneurs who are utilizing the NCB business platform. Rory Wright, founder and CEO of Seven Crave, Janelle Pantry, creative De director and owner of Spaces Jamaica, and Tej Bannon, managing director of K Ban Hardware Limited. We also had a demo of Figaro done by um, Kemar Harris, who is a director of Power Social. And we were sold from the very beginning <laughs> on this whole concept and product offering by Greg Repair, Sales and Relationship Manager, Payment Services Division, NCB. We've had a lot of engagement tonight. Um, we have a few um, questions that we are going to also direct to NCB because I'm um, hearing about asking about the integration and the whole process so people really want to know how they're going to use this service. Nevada. Hey, oh, really so fantastic. Um, so what, I, what I'm hearing, and this has to be very clear, we're talking about expanded opportunity for SMEs. Whatever size business you have now, you can have a seriously quantum leap because your addressable market is now much broader than it was last week, was it was a few days ago. You can talk to all of Jamaica and get paid. You can talk to all of the world and get paid. You can get paid in US dollars, Canadian you can get paid dollars. While Okay, that's right. You can get paid while you sleep. So you don't have to even be working. You're expanding the number of hours where your business is actually working. One of the things we also have to identify, and this is sort of the thing for all financial services to consider, 
The future of banking is partnerships beyond financial services. What NCB has done, which is quite clever, is that they've wrapped the entire e-commerce, so they're not just focused on the payments part of which is what a typically bank does and the managing of the account, right? Mm -hmm. Easy to set a platform, both to pay and the website. Fast payment, which is one of the pain points, right? Get the money within 24 to, 40, to 48 hours. Inventory management, which is one of the big pain points in business. So not only by the way, right? And NCBs have you solve that problem bro bro beyond financial services, right? The website platform we talked about, the payment button, easy to book, to send, to send, receive, and so on. And then certainly um, any questions you all have beyond tonight, continue to ask them on the website. Because what we typically do is we'll continue to access Gregory and Kamar, and we'll get your answers, your questions answered actually very, very rapidly. So please, even as you start to look at the website and try to set up, you have certain things, feel free to continue to ask us questions. In today's memo, by the way, the costs for using the platform is actually laid out in the memo. So for those of you who are asking how much cost percentage and so on, it's actually laid out quite clearly, as Kamar says. So try and get the memo, right? TSOJ at SME. No, it's, it, well, you don't need to say that. It's yeah. sog at psoj.org. Yes. So you can access the weekly memo. And once you email us, you will also be on our mailing list to receive this memo weekly. Yes. Um, Nevada, I see a question here. Alicia, Alicia asked, and I just, I think we should answer this. Do you have to be a registered company to access this service? Can a sole proprietorship or partnership access this? Gregory had answered that earlier, and he had indicated that you can um, register as a sole proprietorship, and if the business is in your name, you can actually register. So this is really, really game-changing. Um, we did a poll earlier, Nevada, where we asked, do you have an e-commerce business? 30% of our respondents said yes. 70% said no. And I'm expecting coming out of this episode that those numbers will change significantly. Absolutely. The other thing I want to um, uh, talk to some of the SMEs about is this notion of sunk costs and letting stuff go. Mm -hmm. Be very wary of because you did have a website set up already, because you did have some payment system already. So instead of trying to just move to something that's simpler and easier, you're going to first try to integrate everything that you have with this new platform. Sometimes it's not a good decision, although psychologically it's hard because yeah. you believe that I've been paid the money for this. Look how much we pay for this. No. Do what Kamar said, which is try it first as if you did not have the things that are cumbersome in your business. Try it. Mm -hmm. If it works and you are happy with it, given the complexity or whatever it is of your business, just let the old things that you're working with go. Do not get trapped in not being able to set up properly because you're trying to integrate the old with the new. Try the new, which yeah. is now set up to plug and play and easy and see if it can deliver all of what you need. If not, sure, find a developer and try and integrate. But first try it without um, noise and weight. Wow, thank you. Nevada, it's, 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 it's so funny just the evolution of the information on this show because yeah. we would have started out in March. We're talking about operational pivots and going online. And we did an entire show, e-commerce bootcamp. And one of the pain points that came out of it is setting up the website, getting your payments, getting your payments from overseas, dealing with shipments. And now we're actually at the end of the year talking about a system that was in fact in place before and we're now able to all access it and know about it, offered yes. by NCB and we are encouraging you and we will be um, in future episodes. We're going to be going through all the different solutions that are being offered by financial institutions. As we say, we are a repository of information. If you wondered what happened to the 34 episodes before, you can check right here on our Facebook page, on our YouTube page, or you can visit smallbusinessportal.com. Very, very important website for you to save as a business owner. Business tips on loans, funds, grants, 
all of our episodes available but very importantly you can go back to all of our previous memos and go through we've talked about inventory management we've talked about redundancy we've talked about and and funnily enough with inventory management which we talked about two weeks ago nevada it was two weeks ago yes. last year. <laughs> yes. Yes. We have the other thing is rochelle please 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 we need to be helping each other. So if you know of other small businesses that would need to hear and love to hear about this e-commerce platform, spread it far and wide. Make sure that there isn't anybody who wants to be online for Christmas who is not aware of the easy possibility of doing so. So please ensure, no matter keep it to yourself, promote Jane, right? Spread the word about how it's now possible to get online easily and get payments from abroad and manage your inventory. Yes. Expanded opportunity. And I'm seeing and Rohan Fowler here. Rohan says, I'm from Montego Bay and I want to register my business. Can I get information where I need to go have that done? Rohan, um, on smallbusinessportal.com, we will soon be giving you very simple point by point, step by step with opening your business, the different types of way to register, to register as a company, to register as a business name. So please just stay tuned to smallbusinessportal.com. And on this show, we've done a show about registering your business, about corporate governance, and we're going to be going in depth. We're doing a show step by step on registering your business. So great question. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Alicia, for that vote of confidence. As we are moving into this Yuletide season, I encourage you to stay blessed, stay safe, stay sanitized, and tune in again next week, Thursday at 7.30 p.m. for what will be a very... We'll give Ramalika a little touch on next week, Nevada. Come on, yes. What are we doing? What are we doing? Next week, we're doing a thing called Our Favorite Things. And I know this... Um, Oh, no, no, the uh, sound of music sound. And roses and whiskers are <laughs> <laughs> and warm mittens, right? So next week we're going to talk about our favorite things. We're going to have some people who have style and class, and we're going to have them on to talk, point to some um the various things made 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 in right Jamaica. In Jamaica. Uh, manufacturers and bring designers and bring people on board who are doing all kinds of interesting things. Next week is about celebrating exquisite product so don't miss that you're going to get some christmas ideas yes. plus you're going to also see the range of what is out there and we're going to make sure that next week all the people who are who have those exquisite products are in fact online and yes. getting payments from abroad right <laughs> <laughs> so thank you thank you all very much remember Join us again next week, Thursday, and next week we're having a very exciting presentation. Our episode is These Are a Few of Our Favorite Things, celebrating amazing, amazing talent, workmanship, and business from right here in Jamaica. So see you again next week. What time? 7.30 p.m. Please if you don't yet get our weekly memo, email us at sme at psoj.org. And we invite you to go right now, right, right now to smallbusinessportal.com. And very importantly, you've heard some information from NCB. We'd like to thank um, our NCB partners tonight for sharing this valuable information with us with such ease. And we encourage you to go onto their website, JNCB, and check out this offering online. Open your business to the world. See you next week. <laughs> Let's face it. Money is really one of the biggest reasons businesses don't get off the ground. Even if you have a great idea, without proper funding and proper guidance, it seems impossible to start. That's where we come in. At smallbusinessportal.com, you can find information on loans, grants, investment opportunities, and tips to launch your business, you can achieve your goals. Does that sound good? Get started today at smallbusinessportal.com. Navigating success for your business.